Hi there, I'm Brandon. I'm here with Radio K, and I'm with the band. Awesome. Well, thank you. Well, thank you guys for taking time to do this interview. I really appreciate it. You guys do music. Um, how South by Southwest going for you guys? Same business as usual. This is our third time here, so we're very much used to the little chaos that comes to the city this week. You know, but it's fun. And if I'm if I'm understanding correctly, this isn't your first time at South by, is it? Our third. Has there been anything different this time around compared to the others? or? Um, yeah, I mean, after three years, we've consolidated, like, an image around here. And fortunately, the people in South By have been, like, featuring us a lot. It was so cool to see your face in the Austin Chronicle newspaper. That doesn't happen every day. And we're getting better stages, better showcases. So we're just really happy about that. That's great to hear. Um, I guess one thing I'm curious about, for those who don't know, how would you describe your music? I would say it's like a blend of psychedelic music and disco music and, uh, I don't know, like R&B influences and vaporwave influences. So it's kind of that. And of course, all season it with the Latin flavor, you know? And what would you say, is there kind of, I mean, you guys are a three-piece. Um, is there a way that those influences kind of come about? Is it kind of, when you're writing a song, do you kind of just kind of jam it out and see what happens and then like add the flavor afterwards? Or do you like try to look for a certain type of music as you're trying to write it? Uh, we're always very groove oriented. So it's always the drums and then comes the bass and then the guitar and then we'll see if vocals can fit the, the music and that's usually how we go around it um, sometimes we jam and for our fourth album that's the first time we actually did that did it that way but for the most part the groove sets the mood cool. and how do you I guess I've when listening to your music it does to me it does seem like the vocals are kind of in the background a little a bit is there any lyrical themes you try to go around with it or is it kind of just whatever sounds nice with the music la letra de las canciones. Eh, the dif all songs is, are different, and we start with the instruments and the vocals come, come later. But the lyrics is about a life, a change, uh, like a chill, relax, vibe, and it's a message for stay chill. So this is all. And kind of going back to stages, has there been a, a venue that's been your favorite to perform at over the past few years here? If we're talking about Austin, I would definitely say the new stage at the Fire Out Lounge. They've always taken us in since it's like a psychedelic oriented venue. And now they really upgraded their stage. Now it's really big and we've played there twice this week. It's really nice. We played the Mohawk yesterday and we just love that grimy, rocky Austin vibe in downtown. It just makes perfect for a great show. Awesome. And um, I guess one thing I'm kind of curious about is, is there kind of, you know, you guys are from Colombia. What's kind of the, uh, is the music scene here in any way similar to down there from what you've experienced? Is it quite different? I'm just kind of curious. Oh, no, it's totally different. There are very much thriving music scenes over there, but it's definitely not our style. Hip hop is huge there. Obviously, as you might know, reggaeton is uh, I mean, just huge over there as well. There's other little niche genres like post punk, like indie, like sad indie, I would call it. And obviously, like cumbia and Latin stuff. But, you know, funk never got there, you know, and psychedelic music never got there either, which I find very ironic because Colombia is very psychedelic. So we've definitely found our audience in other parts of the world when it comes to Texas. Austin is definitely, you know, Austin's weird, you know, Austin really welcomes the psychedelic and the rocky aspects of our music and we're very, very happy to have an audience here. I'm curious, and how did, how did you guys kind of get into the funks, uh, funk music? How did, what kind of artists influenced you or did you listen to that kind of made you want to play that stuff? 
Well, I can only speak for myself here, but when I was a kid, I played a lot of GTA Vice City. And when I, I just like to run over people riding now to Fever 105. And that was my first approach to Jazz Fusion, like Lonnie Liston Smith expansions, a gigantic bass groove, boom, 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 boom. And then you just wanted to like bop your head and move. And us Colombians, we're very groovy, very rhythmic. So that just came naturally to me, I guess. I don't know about you guys. And he was my my teacher, my bass teacher. So my influence is coming from him. <laughs> and I, I heard a lot of blues and jazz for my vocals. And the bass comes later with my so favorite sweet. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say like, uh, I really dig like going on my bike and listening to music and that kind of funky vibe really lets you get in the move, you know, like and, and in Bogota there's a lot of bikers in, uh, I don't know, it, it comes from that and from hip hop music, I guess. Yeah, Bogota is the most bike friendly city in South America, so that's just a little detail perhaps that, yeah. and we're always on a bicycle because it's just the easiest and fastest way to go, so maybe. Minneapolis is a pretty bike friendly city, so I, I very much understand that. Um, I guess what, I'm also curious, uh, how did you guys get started as a band? Um, I, as a part of the interview process, I always like try to you know, deep dive, try to figure out like, how, how a band forms and that type of stuff. And I'm just kind of curious, how did you guys come about? Because you've been together now for four or five years. So I met Santi almost six years ago at a concert. It's always music, you know. And I was watching him play with another band, like a ska band, and uh, I just loved how happy he was. And I just like really, oh wow, that guy is so cool. <laughs> and I was looking for a drummer. So not with this band, but with another band, like a psychedelic rock band. And uh, I just asked him and he was really into it and we just clicked. After that, we had our band, us two, and then we were invited to a concert. And then Joa w there was opening that, opening the afternoon. She was like this folky singer-songwriter playing Bolivian, Peruvian music with a little charango instrument, like a little string instrument. And uh, well, I just fell in love with Joa at first sight, to be honest. And then we just started click immediately. And then we considered say like, hey, why don't we try this out have you ever played bass no well it's okay we'll do something about that and the rest is just music <laughs> awesome yeah um other than that i guess um one last thing i'd like to i'm asking every artist is what is an artist i'm, I'm interviewing a lot of international artists what is one artist from like the, your country or just like in the world that you would recommend right now from each of you? I'm going to do one each. Maybe yeah. each, each one of us can recommend an artist. I would recommend everyone Mudu Mokhtar. He's a, he's a guitar player from Niger, uh, from Africa, and he plays the rockiest version of that North African sound that a lot of people might know by Tina Rewin, and it's getting more popular now. He tours in America, and he's just a badass. Uh, I want to recommend it, uh, a guitarist and singer from Argentina. It's called Gustavo Cerati. He's the biggest representant, representant of the psychedelia in Latin America. Mm, a vaporwave vibe. I really love him. And I would say uh, Rompe Rayo. That's a band from Colombia, from Bogota too and they play cumbia, really crazy cumbia, and uh, I would recommend this song called Alegría por un Sumo de Naranja con Panela. It's a very beautiful song, I love it, and that's it. Awesome. Well, thank you, well, thank you guys for taking the time to interview. Um, once again, this has been Balthus with Radio K, Real College Radio.